Hi, Amy with AJ's Vintage Designs and Fashion Toppings here with another tutorial. Now I'm gonna show you not only how to get the look of barn wood, but also the feel of barn wood. This side of this nightstand is normally smooth and slippery. I'm at, I actually added the texture so that it had the feel of barn wood, but also painted it to get the look of barn wood. This is a full step-by-step -step tutorial, so keep on watching. But first, don't forget to go down there and click on subscribe and click on that little bell so that you're notified each and every time I put up a new tutorial. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, this is what I'm gonna be doing. This is a smooth surface. And I'm gonna show you at an angle. I'm gonna turn it to an angle. And this is what I'm gonna be showing you. So can you see how I have kind of a barn wood finish now? It, it looks like wood. I have um, some lines in here that I'll paint in so it looks like it's between the boards, but we're gonna be doing that, okay? I don't know if you can really tell by the video. You'll be able to tell when it's wet, but it, there's plenty of texture. Now with this texture, I am gonna be sealing this with a clear coat and satin so that when I'm, uh, or I'm gonna be waiting you know, at least 24 hours before I'm painting on it because I don't want to reactivate that mud. I want to keep all these grooves and all this dry streaking in here. I, I don't want that to go away. I don't want to reactivate it. So when I usually do this much mud, I'm just going to put a thin coat of clear coat on it and let it dry. Uh, that way I can mess around with my paint, my waters, and not worry about reactivating the mud. So you can tell, look at how nice and smooth that is. See how nice and smooth that is? I want this to look like I have three planks of wood setting inside here, okay? So I'm gonna be using my Dixie Belle thingamajig. This is what I'm gonna be using. And, or you can use a spatula, you can use a putty knife, um, all that will work. I'm gonna be using my brown mud. That is our wood filler. Um, I'm gonna be using that. We're gonna wipe it on, but to get the, the look I'm looking for, I, on my last one, I used, this is like an old paint, uh, brush that I was practicing with paint pours on and the, the bristles are really stiff because they have old paint on them So they're like hard. I'm going to be using this for my texture now um, You can use a toothbrush if you want not your current toothbrush, of course, but you can use an old toothbrush Okay, so let's get started now I'm gonna be using that paintbrush those dry paintbrush like I said an old toothbrush um, you can use the uh, The graining tool which I don't want wood grains. I want the texture of barn wood um, or you can use a comb, you can use a lot of stuff. But I'm gonna be using a dried old paintbrush. So I'm gonna get this on, and I'm just gonna make a very thin coat, like a thin coat of like fondant or um, uh, frosting. So I'm gonna get this on here. I took a big chunk, and I'm just going to spread it out. A nice thin layer, doesn't have to be perfect. I will take a baby wipe or a paper towel and anywhere I don't have the mud, I'll wipe it off. Just getting it on here, just a thin coat. Now the thinner the coat, the thinner your, uh, your grain lines and the thicker the coat, the thicker and more beat up looking your barn wood's gonna be. Okay, so I'm just gonna smooth it on here just like frosting. And I'm actually gonna use a, my putty knife to get in that corner. Since I got this on my Lazy Susan, I can't use this big spatula to go all the way down because it hits my table. So I'm just getting this in this corner here because I want it all the way to the corner. So it's like ice in a cake. And if I get it anywhere I don't want to, I don't have to worry about it, I can sand it right off. There, I just want to get it in that groove. Okay and smooth it a little bit. You don't have to have it perfectly smooth because this is gonna be rustic barn wood. Anywhere, I don't know if you can see, let me bring you in a little bit. Anywhere that it's really thin, I don't know if you can see, there's a thin spot right here in the center. Anywhere it's really thin, when we do our texture over it, when I take this comb to it, it actually makes it look like that is where, uh, um, where a uh, knot is. Okay, smoothing it down. Okay, so I've got that much texture on it. Very thin, like a, uh, like buttering toast, a little bit more than that, uh, or a very thin fondant. Now, this brush, look at how hard it is. So it's gonna give me a lot of grains. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna very lightly, I'm going to drag 
and kind of wiggle a little bit. And then if I get too much mud on my brush, see that chunk of mud, I'm gonna wipe it off with a paper towel. And then I'm gonna continue on. Okay, now the next one, just kind of wiggle a little bit because grain lines or barn wood is not perfect. Wiggle. Okay. See how I'm adding that texture in there? A wiggle. There. Okay, so I got all that wiggling going on in there. And um, I will come back and I'm going to uh, scrape out. I'm going to scrape out the lines between the boards with the popsicle stick. I'm just keeping my little brush here clean, somewhat clean, as clean as I can get it. And continue on with my mud. But the thicker you apply your mud, see, I'm putting it on pretty thick, but I'm spreading it out. Kind of pressing as I go. It's kind of like using joint compound when you go over sheetrock tape, if any of you guys have ever done that before. Okay. And it's okay if, I went, if I'm hitting a spot I've already done, because I'll just remake the marks. Okay. You get this little crevice here. But mud is fun to, to get pretty much any kind of texture you want. Stucco, chippy paint look. You can do all, add all that texture and then paint right over it. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm gonna take my paintbrush again. You can use whatever tool you want to create texture. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. If you have an area you don't like, you just take your spatula or whatever tool you're using, go back over it. and redo it. So now I need to make the grains that go, I, this isn't one giant piece of wood. So I'm gonna take a popsicle stick and I'm going to make uh, three lines and you're not gonna go straight. You just, you wanna wiggle a little bit because barn wood, like I said, always has the broken up edges. I just see that line. I'm just scratching the mud off so that when I come back and paint, I'll paint a dark line or maybe a coffee bean or something in between uh, just to uh, make it look like that's where the wood joins together. Okay, just wiggle. I'm not even trying to be straight. I'm just going to kind of wiggle a little bit. I want it to look like, I want it to look like wood joined together. Okay, so probably not perfect. But that's okay. It's barn wood. Barn wood is never perfect. Okay, so see that texture that I, I turn it to the side? You can see it with the light. Okay, see the texture in there? And see where it's, it's thinner? Those end up looking like uh, grain when I put paint over them. See, this looks like a big grain right or knot right there. See that texture? Uh, we'll paint over that to make it look like barn wood, but when, see that texture? Then when I come over here and it's dry, I have all that texture that I can paint to make it look like barn wood. I'm actually gonna be using Voodoo Gel Stains for my coloring. I have Tobacco Road, White Magic, Black Magic, and Up in Smoke, and a little bit of Coffee Bean Chalk Mineral, ba uh, mineral Paint. I got my chip brush, and I've got my water and a paper towel. Okay, I gotta try to remember how I did the other side so I can get them to match. I'm gonna start off with um, getting my brush really wet. And missing the surface. Now, before before I started doing this, I put the mud on, I let it dry overnight, then I sealed it with a satin. That way I'm not reactivating my mud. I did seal all this with a satin, and it has one coat of um, mud puddle on it, okay? So, I'm going to tap on just a little bit of gray, and I'm gonna do this in little small sections. And I'm not worried about the water. Okay, I'm gonna, my brush is a little crusty from yesterday. I'm using the same brush. And I'm just going to dry brush some browns. Might hardly be able to see that. Just dry brushing some of the tobacco road. Just grabbing that those highs and lows of all that mud that I created that texture with. I'm not worried about getting paint on my all my edges because I'm gonna be painting that separate. 
I'm gonna be doing a wash of uh, drop cloth over it. Okay, see how I'm adding just a little bit of color on there? I'm gonna go all, all the way across. Get some water on there so it just kind of moves. Okay, just kind of grabbing all those high points. We're gonna be doing lots of layers. Okay, so you see how I'm doing that? I'm gonna be doing lots of layers. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and forth between my colors. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of gray, which is the up and smoke. Same brush, I'm not cleaning it. So you can see that. I got, actually got my brush a little bit on the black magic, so I got a little bit of black in there, which I like it. Get all those corners. Okay, dip again. That went on a little heavy, that's okay. So we're doing layers. Just take your time with this and do a little bit of color at a time. So you can see how I'm just gonna be layering up these colors. The light's kind of bouncing off some areas so you can't see it. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do some coffee bean paint. This is a chalk mineral paint. Wet my brush down. And gonna come in here and just drag some coffee bean. So get some dark in there. If you go too dark or you get too much on there, it's okay, we're doing this in layers. We're gonna keep adding, I'm gonna be adding some white on top of this. I'm just doing it very gentle because I wanna hit all those high points of the mud. And get up all those recessed areas, get in those corners. Okay, I see how, I see how this is gonna to come together. Just go back and forth between colors. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of coffee bean and white together. And gonna drag, I'm not adding more water, I'm just dragging these colors kind of together. I just want little hits, hints of white. Maybe I'll bring you in closer so you can see it. <clears throat> Going back and forth. This is definitely too heavy down here, but that's fine, we're gonna be adding to it. I'm just gonna do just white by itself this time. This is just dry brushing these colors on. Okay, see how the layers are gonna build on each other and it's gonna to start to blend a little bit more. There's a lot of black in there. So I think I'm gonna go back to my tobacco road Maybe a tobacco road and a little bit of white mixed together for a lighter color. Lighten up that darker area. See how that just layers upon layers. And you can just go back and forth between colors. Now I think I'm gonna go, wanna go back to the tobacco road. And I'm gonna add some water to my brush. And, cause I want it to get in the recessed areas a little bit more. Just have fun. Once you find an area you like, start replicating it. Like I like this area right here, right there. So I'm gonna just keep replicating it. And then I'll go and look at the other side so I have them somewhat similar, but I need a lot of color filled in the back, uh, the backdrop of this. So I'm going to spray with some water and I think I want more uh, tobacco road. Just to kind of fill in these, I can turn my brush to the side so I can make sure I get in those recessed areas to kind of hide that mud puddle, which is the color I have underneath. Turn my brush to the side just so I can get in those areas. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit of graining. And I'll probably add to this, but I wanna show you a little bit of graining. I'm gonna take just a pointed brush right there. Okay. It's from last night, I did not wash it, so I'm just gonna break it up a little bit. And I'm going to, actually I'm gonna get it wet. And I'm gonna use a little bit of Black Magic uh, Voodoo Gel Stain and some water. 
I don't want it to be a strong line. And I'm going to draw a separation between these boards. And I'll keep adding to it. I don't want it to be a stark, dark line. So I'm just gonna keep adding some Voodoo Gel Stain and just drag it down. So it's a shadow and it looks like a separation between boards. I don't know if you can see that. I'll make it a little bit darker for you. There, you can, you can slightly see that line that's going up. And I'm just using Voodoo Gel Stain, a little bit of water, because it is a water-based gel stain. And I like that versus the paint because it's more translucent. It's not gonna be a strong like black line. It's gonna be more translucent. Okay, so there's a separation of one board. And let's draw another one. A little wiggly line, because we want these boards to look like they're barn wood that's placed on here. And their barn wood is never perfect. And I have all that water on here for misting. So it's really making it translucent. Okay, see how they got those boards separated now? You can't see this area up here, the light's reflecting on it, but it goes all the way to the top. Now what I'm gonna do for added character, is I'm going to find, so isn't that starting to look like real barn wood? Just by doing all that dry brushing. I'm gonna find areas in the texture that I can create to make it look like broken wood or a knot. So I'm taking my black Voodoo Gel Stain, it's the Black Magic, and I'm gonna find some rough edges. Where the, there's not that much mud. And I'm gonna kind of draw them in to make them look like little knots. Okay, just some darker areas. So that, so that's gonna look like a little hole in the wood. It's gonna look like a little hole in the wood. And I gotta find some other areas that look like they'd naturally be a hole in the wood. Um, this little dot right here. So just some little areas. There we go, get the light down there. And see the little knots and stuff that I put in there? Now I need to find some more knots because I need to even this out and add some more texture up, to, up there. It's just a little too clean. Um, and right here, I'm gonna grab this texture. And add just a little tiny knot right there. And maybe I want, an, I'm gonna grab some of this texture up here. Just grab my wet brush with my black magic on here. Just kind of grab some of this texture. Get some of these little holes. See, so just a little bit up there. Can rub it with my fingers if I need to. If it's too much, here's the knot I found. It's a flat spot. See, I'm just finding those little areas. It looks better than the single. I'm just finding areas where the mud um, is kind of a little flat with some texture, and it looks like a natural area for a, um, a knot to have been. Anywhere where it's like flat. Okay, so there we go. Okay, well there you have it. The full tutorial on how to get this look. I think it is a great, easy beginner's project. It's a great way to get that barn wood look without, without having to do all that work of putting barn wood on a piece of, uh, piece of furniture. I love how it turned out. I think it's pretty cool. It was a lot of fun and I'll definitely be doing this one again. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and until next time, I hope you have a great day.